Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Esty and this channel is all about pre-nursing and nursing and my journey through that as a wife and a mom. So if you're interested in that content, definitely go ahead and subscribe to this channel below. I would love to have you guys on here for the journey and I love to connect with you on here. So today I'm going to be doing a practice test for the science section of the T6 test. I took it several months ago and I scored in the 97th percentile for the national average. So I've been making some videos to help you guys as well. So I will be linking that playlist above. Today I'm going to be giving you 20 questions for the science section and I'm using these questions from Smart Edition. So if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about this packet that Smart Edition has, I will be putting the link below in the description box so you can check it out there. I will give you all of the questions first and then after going through all of the 20 questions, I will give you the correct answers as well as an explanation for why the answer is correct. First question, body temperature can increase in a hot environment or decrease in a cold environment. Body temperature can be considered A, A cell, B chemical, C factor, or D variable. Go ahead and pause the video while you answer this question and then you can turn it back on when you're ready. Next question, what happens after the blood leaves the pulmonary vein? A, it flows through the aorta. B, it pours into the left atrium. C, it travels through the arteries, or D, it passes by the superior vena cava. Go ahead and pause the video while you answer this question, and then you can turn it back on when you're ready. Next question, which statement is true regarding gas concentration of blood leaving the left side of the heart? A, oxygen levels are high. B, carbon dioxide levels are high. C, oxygen and carbon dioxide levels are low. Or D, oxygen and carbon dioxide levels are high. Go ahead and pause the video while you answer this question and then turn it on when you're ready. The cardiac sphincter opens into the A, gallbladder, B, liver, C, pancreas, or D, stomach. Go ahead and pause this question and then when you're ready, you can turn it on for the next. Next question, the female reproductive system includes the A, uterus and cervix, B, epididymis and fallopian tubes, C, ovaries, prostate gland and vagina, or D, ovaries, uterus, and corpus cavernosum. Next question, which correctly describes how urine travels through the nephron? A, glomerulus, proximal convoluted tubule, loop of Henle, distal convoluted tubule, and then collecting duct. Or B, distal convoluted tubule, collecting duct, proximal convoluted tubule, glomerulus, loop of Henle. Or C, loop of Henle, glomerulus, distal convoluted tubule, collecting duct, proximal convoluted tubule. Or D, collecting duct, proximal convoluted tubule, glomerulus, loop of Henle, and then distal convoluted tubule. Next question, bones are primarily made of A, chloride, B, magnesium, C, sodium, or D, phosphorus. Next question, what body system must the muscular system work with to help the body move? A, cardiovascular, B, digestive, C, respiratory, or D, skeletal. Next question, a person jumps after touching a hot surface. Which layer of skin was responsible for stimulating the person's response? A, dermis, B, hypodermis, C, stratum basale, or D, stratum lucidum? Next question, which of the following activities are performed with help from the frontal lobe? A, remembering key events as a child. B, solving a word puzzle in three minutes. C, hearing a noise while walking at the park. Or D, watching a bird swoop down to catch an insect. Next question, in the negative feedback loop that regulates the levels of blood sugar, insulin is secreted to enable the human body to use the end products of digestion. What does the pancreas secrete when the blood sugar levels are too low? A, glucagon, B, glucose, C, glycogen, or D, glycolysis. Next question, a body's second line of defense against invading pathogens involves both blank, which initiate alarm signals, and blank, which activate the helper T cells. A, B cells and proteins, B, antibodies and proteins, C, macrophages and proteins, or D, macrophages and antibodies. Next question, when using the scientific method, what does a researcher do immediately after proposing a scientific question? A, perform background research on the topic, B, analyze data to observe trends or patterns, C, collect information or data during an experiment, or D, communicate results in an article or presentation. Next question, a researcher discovers a cell that is less than 0.5 milliliters in diameter. This cell has pili surrounding its cell wall. What does the researcher classify this cell as? A, autotroph, 
B, eukaryote, C, heterotroph, or D, prokaryote. Next question, what is the correct order of phases in mitosis? A, telophase, metaphase, prophase, and anaphase. B, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. C, metaphase, anaphase, prophase, telophase. Or D, anaphase, prophase, metaphase, telophase. Next question, what is the function of a peptide bond? A, to connect proteins together. B, to connect nucleotides together. C, to connect amino acids together. Or D, to connect nucleic acids together. Next question, as a variable increases, another variable increases. This describes a A, positive variation, B, negative variation, C, inverse correlation, or D, indirect correlation. Next question, which of the following parts of an atom has no charge? A, electron, B, neutron, C, nucleus, or D, proton? Next question, which is the product of a neutralization reaction? A, acid, B, base, C, proton, or D, salt? All right, our final question, what type of reaction will occur between hexane and oxygen? A, synthesis. B, combustion, C, decomposition, or D, single replacement? Go ahead and pause the video while you answer this question, and then we'll move on to our correct answers. All right, so the correct answer for the first question is D, variable. This is correct because body temperature is a variable that can increase in a hot environment or decrease in a cold environment. The next question, the correct answer is B. It pours into the left atrium. This is correct because after oxygenated blood leaves the lungs through the pulmonary vein, it travels into the left atrium and then the left ventricle before flowing through the aorta into systemic circulation. In this particular situation, it is the only time the oxygenated blood will leave the heart by way of an artery. Arteries carry oxygenated blood away from the heart. Veins carry deoxygenated blood back to the heart. The correct answer for the next question is A, oxygen levels are high. This is correct because oxygen-rich blood or blood with high oxygen levels leaves the left side of the heart. Next question, the correct answer is D, stomach. The cardiac sphincter is the muscular opening between the esophagus and the sphincter. It opens when food approaches, which allows it to flow into the stomach by rhythmic peristaltic waves and closes once in the stomach to prevent food from backflowing into the esophagus. If the cardiac sphincter does not work correctly or is weakened, food and stomach acids can go up into the esophagus, which is reflux, and cause symptoms known as heartburn. The correct answer for the next question is A, uterus and cervix. This is correct because the uterus, cervix, fallopian tubes, ovaries, and vagina are components of the female reproductive system. The epididymis, corpus cavernosum, and prostate gland are components of the male reproductive system. The correct answer for the next question is A, glomerulus, proximal convoluted tubule, loop of Henle, distal convoluted tubule, and then collecting duct. Your information begins when blood flows from the renal artery into the kidneys. Nephrons in the kidneys filter this blood in the glomerulus before transporting it to the proximal tube, tubule. This filtrate then travels to the loop of Henle and the distal convoluted tubule before accumulating in the collecting duct. The next question, the correct answer is D, phosphorus. Bones make a mineral reservoir that contains roughly 9% of the body's calcium and 8% of the body's phosphorus. These minerals are used for various physiological functions performed in the body. The next question, the correct answer is D, skeletal. Known as the musculoskeletal system, the muscular and skeletal systems work together to support and move the body. The bones of the skeletal system protect the body's organs, support the weight of the body, and give the body shape. The muscles of the muscular system attach to these bones, pulling on them to allow for the movement of the body. The next question, the correct answer is A, dermis. The dermis is the second layer of the skin located underneath the epidermis. This layer contains blood vessels and nerve endings, which enable a person to feel sensations on the skin. The next question, the correct answer is B, solving a word puzzle in three minutes. The four lobes of the brain are the frontal, parietal, occipital, and temporal. The frontal lobe is located toward the front of the cerebrum, behind the forehead and under the frontal skull bones. It is crucial for the success of a complex set of cognitive functions. These functions include motor function, problem solving, spontaneity, 
memory, language, initiation, judgment, impulse control, and social and sexual behavior. The development of personality is developed in the frontal lobes as well. This lobe is the slowest part of the brain to mature as it takes many years to develop and perfect neural connections, often up until the mid-20s. This means that brain damage early in life can severely affect the vulnerable frontal lobe and can cause lifelong behavior and cognition challenges. The next question, the correct answer is A, glucagon. Glucagon is a hormone that controls blood sugar levels in the bloodstream when they have dropped too low. It is produced by the alpha cells in the islets of Langerhans found in the pancreas. Glucagon's primary function is to prevent blood sugar levels from dropping too low. Next question, the correct answer is D, macrophages and antibodies. Macrophages initiate an alarm signal, which is a protein that activates the helper T cells. Next question, the correct answer is A, perform background research on the topic. The first step in the scientific method is to state a question or problem based on an observation. The next step is to research and learn more about the topic from which the question originates. Next question, the correct answer is D, prokaryote. Common characteristics of prokaryotic cells are that they are small and have hair-like structures called pili that surround their cell wall. Next question, the correct answer is B, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. After the cell cycle occurs during interphase, the cell begins the M phase or mitosis. Mitosis starts with prophase and proceeds to metaphase. Once chromosomes separate during anaphase, new daughter cells are formed during telophase. Next question, the correct answer is C, to connect amino acids together. Peptide bonds connect amino acids together to form a protein. The next question, the correct answer is A, positive variation. When a variable increases as another variable increases, this relationship is described as a positive correlation, direct correlation or positive variation. Next question, the correct answer is B, neutron. The neutron is the only part of an atom that is neutral. Next question, the correct answer is D, salt. When an acid and a base react, they form a salt and water. This type of reaction is called a neutralization reaction. And for our final question, the correct answer is B, combustion. Hexane contains carbon and hydrogen, which means it can be the fuel in a combustion reaction when it reacts with oxygen. So how did you guys do on this quiz? Let me know in the comments below how you did. I'm going to be linking the Smart Edition T6 test resource below as well if you're interested in looking into that a little bit more. All of these questions were taken from that resource. I'm also gonna be linking up here for you a video that I made on the science section of the TEAS test, giving you guys a breakdown of what the science section is like and what to study, what to prepare for, as well as a free download to the flashcards that I created for the anatomy and physiology portion of the science test. If you guys enjoyed this video, you can go ahead and like below and you can subscribe to this channel for more content similar to this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.